Okay, um, I'm going to go over the market real quick. There are two ways to actually access the market, one of which is right here on the left hand side. And the other one is over here on the right hand side if you're in station. Um, the one on the left is always up, uh, whether you're outside station or inside station, so I generally use that one the most. Okay, um, once the window is open, you'll have a window like this. Over here on the left, you will have basically all of the little tabs that you can click on that will open up different menus like drones, ships, ship equipment for things you want to fit on your ship, uh, skill books, etc. Uh, that's under the browse tab. You can actually browse the market, look at whatever you want, deployable equipment, cargo, containers. It'll bring up uh, just a bunch of stuff. Now if you know exactly what you're looking for, let's say I need combat scanner probes. Type in combat scan and it'll pretty much come up with anything that has to do with combat scanner probes. Uh, it's a very handy tool if you know exactly what you're looking for. So if you have the name of something that you constantly use, like I do, uh, scanner probes, uh, you can go ahead and look it up. Or you can also use the quick bar. You can add things to your quick bar, like let's say it's a module you always put on your ship, like every single ship. I have yet to really use this, that's why I don't have anything there. Uh, even though I should. Um, it's it's a very handy tool uh, once you kind of figure out how to use it. The market's really nice. But let's go ahead and go back to browse. Now, let's say you want to buy something and you know what it is under browse. Um, let's say it's a, it's a ship. You're going to go to ships, and then you pick what ship you want. I'm going to choose a frigate, and I want a standard frigate, and I am Amar. Alright, so it, it opens up the description page, and it gives the description of every single frigate that is on sale here. You pick which one you want. I'm going to go with the Punisher and then it will open up the sell orders and buy orders uh, in I have it selected to region um, you can have it set to station only or solar system only I, I tend to not do that just because I don't mind jumping a few jumps for a lower price so I generally have mine set to region but you have to be careful with that as you can see here, uh, I have it set to the lowest price, and the lowest price one is about seven jumps away. I really don't feel like jumping seven jumps for a frigate. So the next one down is only one jump away. That would be perfectly fine. You can see the jumps over here in uh, this tab right here. And so if it says seven, that means you're going to have to go through seven stargates just to pick up your ship or ship module or whatever you buy. Uh, if it says one, that means it's right next door, you only have one uh, Stargate to jump through. If it says station, that means it's actually in the station that you're in. Uh, if it says system, that means it's in the system that you're in, just in a different station. Now, let's say, okay, I have one one jump away. You go ahead and right click on it. And if it's, if it's not in your system or in your station, I generally go down to location first, and then I set destination. This will bring up a destination route over here on the left hand side, and it'll show one jump, and it'll show how many systems you go through uh, by putting dots on your screen for your autopilot. Um, right here it shows that I only go through a 0 0.5 so that's fine that's still high sec 
if it was red or orange, uh, generally I wouldn't buy it, depending on what kind of ship it is. Let's go ahead and set it for the 7 jump. And that's what it would look, look like if you had 7 jumps. And as you can see, it's mostly green and yellow, so it's, it's high sec, so it's good to go. After you make sure that the, the route that you're going to be taking is safe, and it's the route that you want to take, you go ahead and right click on the item that you want to buy, and then you hit buy this. This will bring up the final window, and this is actually buying the ship. You can have like a little quantity thing here that you can type in. I could buy two of them, and as you can see it'll double the price down below, right down here, and it'll show you how much you'll be spending. So if I buy one, it'll be 197000 If I buy nine, it'll be 1,773,000. And then after you have in your field how many you want to buy, and it'll show how many are available over here, then you hit the buy button, and then you would be finished purchasing stuff. Um, there is an advanced window, but that is for later on. Those are for buy orders that means you won't get it right away and you have to wait for somebody to fill your buy order so I, I wouldn't go into that so just make sure it's on the um, make sure it's on simple as you can see simple down here and that'll buy it from the sell orders up top now whenever you get to selling things to the market um, you have to check for buy orders down here Let's say I'm going to open something up here. Um, let's see if there's a market for cap boosters. Okay, there are. Um, cap boosters and ammo you don't really have to worry about, but let's say you have some modules you want to sell. Let's say I wanted to sell these armor hardeners. Right now, these have been on my ship, so they are not packaged, and you cannot sell them while they are unpackaged. And you can tell if they're packaged or not, as you can see here, it has like a little one down here, and this one doesn't. So I'm going to highlight the ones that aren't packaged. Oh, that one is. I'm going to highlight that one. You right click on it, you go down to repackage. Make sure you don't hit reprocess, but hit repackage. It'll say repackage item, yes, and then it'll repackage it for you. Once it's repackaged, you right click, and then you come down to sell item. And then it'll bring up this little box, and it'll show you how much it's going for, and it'll say regional, you know, below regional average or above regional average. Right now, this is 93% below a regional average, so I really would not want to sell that. Um, if it's like a Tech 1 item, it really wouldn't matter. Tech 2, uh, I start to kind of look at it, and I, I don't really sell stuff unless it's on par with regional average. So this one I would actually want to hold on to but you want to make sure that whenever you're trying to sell stuff that it is packaged and if it's not packaged you just right click on the item hit repackage yes and then you go ahead and sell it um, I think that's it for now if you have any other questions that you can think of while you're using it let me know